Good morning, everybody. Welcome to this week's episode of Tooth Teacher Tuesday. Dr. Z here with um, what should be an interesting topic today, kind of a bit of breaking news, really. Um, a question I get asked a lot is, what is Smile Direct Club? What exactly is that? How does that work? Um, I get asked it a lot, and so this was a topic that was on my uh, calendar for content to cover, but it was weeks down the road, but um, Smile Direct Club has come into the forefront uh, here just the past couple weeks with some breaking news, so I'll dive into that a little bit more. So to start out with, Smile Direct Club is a direct, direct to consumer clear aligner brand um, company. And, you know, most of us are familiar with clear aligners. You know, the name Invisalign gets thrown around a lot. Um, Invisalign's kind of like Kleenex is for tissues. You know, there's a bunch of tissue brands out there, but, you know, Kleenex is kind of the, uh, the big name. Same thing with clear aligners. Invisalign is kind of the big name, but there's other, other you know, dozens of others um, competing clear aligner companies that work in office with dentists to accomplish orthodontic movement of teeth as an alternative to the traditional um, metal braces that you know we all think of when we think of orthodontics um, that's that's the in-office stuff though smile direct club on the other hand is one of a few direct to consumer aligner brands and what that means is you don't have to go into a dentist. You basically take some impressions on yourself at home, send it off to this company. They send you back the trays to wear. And, um, you know, it's certainly an area of uh, high controversy in dent dentistry because an orthodontist does oversee these cases at the company to plan out how things are supposed to go, but you never have that direct one-on-one -on -one supervision in person with a doctor that um, can help troubleshoot some issues. And so plenty of people have had success using Smile Direct Club, but uh, you can look up some of the disastrous results of, of do-it-yourself orthodontics. Um, yeah, look it up, it, it, it can get really, really bad. Um, but people time and time again go back to them because it's a lot less expensive to do it at home without the supervision of a dentist or an orthodontist. And, you know, kind of like the old saying goes, you get what you pay for. So you, you can pay less to use something like Smile Direct Club, but you're probably not going to get as good an outcome as you would if you had a dentist supervising. And so all of that controversy aside, um, Smile Direct Club has been in the news here lately because they actually just recently filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy, which basically means that things aren't looking good for their company. Um, there's a chance that they're going to have to you know, basically sell off all their assets if they can't find some sort of a gracious savior to swoop in and and save their butts and um it's gotten so bad that they've even dropped off of like the nasdaq and other you know public trading uh whatever you want to call it i'm not i'm not stock market savvy but i know nasdaq has dropped them and that's that's a sign that this company is headed and um which is interesting i i don't know all the details as to why i mean they seem like they've been doing pretty good business but perhaps there's more going on behind the uh behind the curtain than we realize um one interesting thing about smile direct club is that they are actually a uh, subsidiary of invisalign which means um, 
the people that are doing it in office with Invisalign, if you use Smile Direct Club, it's the same people doing it. You're just cutting out the doctor as the middleman, but it's the same company. They're basically competing against themselves when they market themselves as an alternative to Invisalign. It's still Invisalign, just minus the doctor. Um, so I would have to venture a guess that that has something to do with it, that uh, maybe Invisalign as a whole is trying to drop the direct to consumer um, aspect of their company, but that's purely speculation. But yeah, news articles are all out there. I'm sure more news is going to come through. I think I think uh, I read that Smile Direct Club has until I think the first of November to find some kind of, some kind of a investor to save them. Otherwise, they have to basically follow through with the bankruptcy and start dividing up their assets. And so it'll be interesting to see what unfolds over the next month or so. But in the meantime, that's it for today's topic. Again, some bringing you some uh, current topical news and dentistry that we don't usually get a whole lot of. So stay tuned to that and stay tuned to Tooth Teacher Tuesday. We'll see you next week for another episode of Oral Pathology Corner. Until then, have a great week, everybody. Mm -hmm.